There's a lot of risk involved in the store service because somebody can just come and finish your meals, carry out, like bring a bitch that has a very crazy infection, but you won't, you won't even know because you may see a bitch that has never bred before with a E. coli or Aflococo, something crazy. So if you want to specialize on just store, store service, it's not going to be easy because normally when the store comes in, people want to see what the store will produce you get before, before they start using the store. Because there are some stores that that I mean, look very good and all, but they don't produce what they what they have. So people want to see what the store is producing. So it's after a while when they see that okay, this store is is doing what it's supposed to, like it's producing himself. People will come. So if you don't have a female in the house to to bring to the stores to actually show what the store is made of, you may not get some. You may not get people to come to the store. You may start begging, ah, I have a male, come and use my male, I beg, I beg, you know that kind of thing. But when you have your females, you shoot out puppies and they see, okay, this store is doing good and they have interest, they want to use this store. But you know, after a while, if you've been doing store service for a while and you have females, after a while, you can do just store service. But you must always have one female, because so you have to produce, because you know when you do store service, the puppies have to carry the canine name of the beach owner. So if you don't have a female, there's no how you can have your litters. Like, there are different bloodlines, you know. So you may have this particular male that you've been using for stud for a while. After a while, people people get the puppies of that dog already. So, like, the bloodline of that male has circulated around. So, you know, by that time, stud service stop uh, will start reducing for you because that dog has served a lot of females. So the trick there is that you need to bring in or bring in or buy another store or locally or imported imported you get so that that store can service the puppies you've you've created before because if you don't have a store that they can use for the puppies you've created with another store people will start going to other kennels to breed so it's like a business trick so you need to always bring in a store that can service the dogs you've produced before normally i believe that um if everything is fine with the dog, is eating well, health is okay. It's on, they, they, there's nothing that will affect the productivity of the semen. But the issue is there is that some people, when they come, they when, when you ask them to do vaginal swab test and all that, they say they don't want to do, they don't want to do. And as a businessman, you don't want to lose. Let me say those money. So I have a, I have an agreement. If you if you do your vaginal swab test and all that, if you want me to do a natural mating for you, when the male and female will meet naturally and they lock, you have to provide the the vaginal swab test to make sure that the dog is clean. And if the dog, is, if you don't provide that, we just do AI. That's artificial insemination. So the male does not have to get in contact with the female at all. So that way, I protect the studs from different, different um, kind of infection and all that. For, for artificial insemination, it has an advantage because sometimes when we do semen analysis for males, the, mo the mobility rate may be very low. So that means that the semen can't swim down into the um, uterus of the female. So what happens is that when you use artificial insemination, I would like to show you a, a straw that we use. This is actually my favorite um, AI tool because with this you, you can you can meet any female because some females you, you can get up to here before it stops going in. Some you can get here, some you can get here. So it depends on how deep the female vulva is. So the reason this thing is good is I see how long it is. It gets inside, so there is no room for error. And this place is is not sharp. Can you see? So you cannot you cannot injure the female. So why this thing is very good is that like now when we collect the semen, it's a, it's a semen bag, you collect the semen from the male. So I drag it up with this. So let me just use this water as an example. So when drag, so now this is the. So now the good thing about this thing is that it, when you, you think it splash. So when you press, you see the way it's going. It's it's, it's Point everywhere, so you know some, some will just go straight, but now this one will it will, it will touch everywhere inside. So there's no how, there's no how 
it will not, it will not be successful if the female is actually ovulating. So once sometimes sometimes if, if the semen is small, let's say like five mm, after pushing it inside, you just have to drag it out. So you drag air. So you use the air to push the one remaining air inside. So when you put it in the female, it goes directly inside the vulva, inside the um, uterus. So but when you do natural mating, it has to it may have to swim down. But using the AI kit, it gives you an advantage. You just push it down there. So I've but we have an we, we have a challenge. People don't people don't really like artificial insemination because they want to see the dog lock. Like even when you want to sell puppies, they say do you have the mating pictures and all that. So that's a challenge for the beach owner sometimes. So what we do is after doing the artificial insemination, we it, we take a picture of the male and the female together. So that that will still serve as uh, as a sign that look okay, this meeting actually happened. There's a lot of risk involved in store service because somebody can just come and finish your male's career, like bring a bitch that has a very crazy infection, but you won't you won't even know because you may see a bitch that that has never bred before with a, with E. coli or Staphylococcus, something something crazy. So the the AI is a, is a very safe way. It protects the female and it protects the male. If there's anything in the female, if there's anything in the male, they don't come in contact. So they don't, they don't, it's just the semen that goes into, into the female. And sometimes we have challenges with store services. You know, some store, some beach owners, after you do breeding for them, they tell you, my bitch did not catch this, that, that, that. And, and then they, you see, you, they find out they actually had puppies and they sold puppies. So you not be, and they will still come to you that they want a repeat meeting. So these days I don't even do I don't do repeat meetings anymore because I believe once my stud offers you the service, the store service you paid for, he has done the service. The female catch you, you not catch you, is your own business because the dog is the dog has given birth with other dogs. Because some people will actually you tell them that okay, go and do go and do tests. So we know when exactly the dog is ovulating to mate. They say, my dog is the 10, my dog is the 12, my dog is the 15. And then I'll tell them that if this dog does not catch, it's none of my business. Because you didn't do what you're supposed to do. So anybody that does what I say you should do, like my advice, I can give them a repeat meeting at half the payment you made for the first meeting. So that's what I do.